a new chapter in the legacy of Dr. Seuss. For the first time, a national museum dedicated to the life and works of author Theodore Geisel in his hometown of Springfield, Massachusetts. This means that, that Lark and I can create the world of Ted as closely as we can in his hometown and that he can be seen by people who want to know more about him. The museum features interactive exhibits, a collection of personal belongings, and explains how Geisel's childhood experiences in the city shaped his work. Under the name Dr. Seuss, he wrote and illustrated dozens of rhyming children's books, including The Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham. What we're doing here are originals that have never been seen and what he made for the family. But missing from the museum, Geisel's World War II era political cartoons, many of them considered racist. The museum says that's because the exhibits are primarily aimed at children. For some parents, the discovery of his past works has made Dr. Seuss books off limits. They made me sick to my stomach. Um, my family was directly impacted by the incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II, uh, as well as my entire extended Japanese family. Dr. Seuss actually never publicly or privately um, made any kind of apology for his racism. This is the Japanese worm, right, um, in water. UC San Diego houses 18,000 of Geisel's original drawings, including many of the controversial political cartoons. Certainly about the Japanese, I think he, I don't, I mean, he never told me that he had regrets. I mean, I never had that conversation with him. Critics say without including those works in the new Seuss Museum, it only tells half the story. It was his own personal belief, and that's what he depicted in those cartoons. Geisel's stepdaughter believes he was a product of his times and hopes people don't judge his entire career on his earlier works. If there's criticism of Ted, it has its place. I know that he changed with the times. A chance now to see some of that evolution in person. Yvonne Lee, Associated Press.